All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show with a little 49er video. Make sure you check out Pig and a Pickle. Two locations, Emeryville and Corte Madera, the best barbecue in Northern California. They're open seven days a week in Marin. Wednesday through Sunday in Emeryville, Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. Try the brisket. All right, Dane Brugler from The Athletic is a phenomenal draft guy, and his draft guide is so comprehensive that we decided we'd go guy by guy and take a look at the things that Brugler highlighted in his uh, reports on each 49er draft choice. And this one is on Jalen Graham, the linebacker from Purdue. Now, Scott McLuhan, the former 49er general manager, uh, in an interview with uh, Matt Barrows, also of The Athletic, you know, singled out Graham as a player that he really liked. And that made me feel good because I really like Jalen Graham as well. Um, and I liked him after his junior year. Now let's talk a little bit about the Purdue linebacker, six foot one, two hundred and twenty pounds, a Detroit, Michigan kid. Um, went to Birmingham, Detroit Country Day School, and started on the varsity in high school as a sophomore. Um, he played quarterback and he played safety, and then he transferred from uh, Birmingham, Detroit County uh, Country Day School to Detroit Cass Tech High School for the final two years. And he played quarterback again at Cass Tech and led the team to an 11-2 and record in the 2018 season. First team All-State as a senior. Um, great athlete. Also lettered in track and field. His events were the 100 meters and the 110-meter hurdles. Um, Three-star high school recruit, so he wasn't a heavily recruited guy. He looked at some schools in the Midwest and ultimately chose Purdue. And all of his college scholarship offers were to play safety. Nobody wanted him as a quarterback. They only wanted him as a safety. So he enrolled at Purdue uh, in January of 2019 in a very star-studded uh, recruiting class, a recruiting class that included David Bell, the wide receiver, and George Karloftis, uh, the defensive end, Karloftis and Bell, now both in the NFL. Um and then, you know, this year we saw Graham opt out of the out of the bowl game to get ready for the draft. He played in the East-West Shrine game. Uh, but 38 games in his uh, Purdue career, 35 which, of which were starts. He had 169 career tackles for the Boilermakers. Uh, honorable mention all Big Ten in both 2021 and 2022. Um, interesting player, long-arm player, 10-inch hands. Really strong. Um, at the combine, he ran four six four, and then at his pro day, actually ran slower than that. Usually, if guys run again at the pro day, they improve their forty time. His pro, uh, pro day forty, I think, was in the four sevens, but he ran four six four at the combine, and he had a one five nine ten yard split. And just looking at Graham, I mean, he passes the eyeball test. I mean, he's a great athlete, and you can see it. I mean, terrific body, muscular build. Um, you know, long arms, uh, re, you know, real, real defined. And then when you flip on the film, you can see why the scouts love this kid. Uh, he processes what he sees quickly and he's smooth. He's versatile. Um, you know, this was a guy who was trusted by the Purdue coaches. They loved him. And he's just a, he's just a really sound football player who doesn't make a lot of mistakes. You know, it's like, People talk about 40 times and he ran four six four. And there are there are linebackers that run four four. Heck, D. Winters ran four four nine. Um, and the Niners had a Saguna Luby in camp last year. He ran four four nine at San Diego State. Um, you know, almost all the Niner linebackers run in the four fives. The number isn't necessarily as important as how fast you actually play. And when you watch Jalen Graham, he ran four six four. But he processes what he sees quickly and accurately and, and makes a lot of good decisions. He's flowing in the right direction at all times. This is an instinctive player who really plays faster than the 464 because he knows what he's seeing pre-snap and he's moving towards the football. Uh, he's a versatile player. He can play multiple spots. I um, mean, you, you could you can drop him into coverage. Heck, you could you could rush him off the edge. I mean, he's done all that at Purdue, and the Purdue coaches loved him for his versatility, and they loved him for his instincts. He's a high-energy player. 
Um, he's a guy who played special teams as well. You know, he was really good on kickoff coverage. Um, and he's just, he's a guy who, you know, at, right away, he'll probably play special teams with the Niners. He probably won't play from scrimmage if he makes the team. He's going to be in a really intense battle uh, with D. Winters, Curtis Robinson, Demetrius Flanagan Fowles, Oren Burks for, you know, a couple spots. I mean, I would say that on this team, you've got, they're going to keep six. And four of the spots are spoken for, right? You got Dre Greenlaw. He's not getting cut. <laughs> Dre Greenlaw is going to be on the team. Fred Warner is going to be on the team. Marcelino McCrary Ball is going to be on the team. And I would say Oren Burks is probably going to be on the team. So then the question is, Curtis Robinson, is he going to make it? Um, D. Winters, is he going to make it? Jalen Graham, is he going to make it? There, you know, this is going to be an, uh, an intense battle at linebacker. And I would not be shocked if the 49ers traded one of their special teams linebackers uh, for a day three pick because the Niners are stacked at linebacker. And I don't think they want to cut Graham. I don't think they want to cut Winters. Um, and yet they've got special teams backers like Curtis Robinson, Flanagan Fowles, Oren Burks. Not every team has really talented special team backers like they do. There may be a team out there that wants one of those guys. So that's something to look for this summer. But Jalen Graham had a tibia injury this year in 2022. He did miss four games. But what a, what a tremendous player. Four-year starter in Ron English's system there. Um, he's played, played a lot of nickel linebacker. He's alert. He's driven. This guy's driven to make plays. And to me, what, what's the most noticeable part of Graham's game is just the smoothness. You know, you don't realize he's getting from point A to point B as quickly as he is. And then you look up and he's there. Um, I don't look at him as a, as an edge rusher. Um, I, I, I see him as an inside backer. Uh, the 49ers really like their their linebackers to be smaller and faster and more instinctive. This guy is almost like a jumbo safety. Uh, they list him at 6'1", 220 pounds, and there's great movement ability there. Um, you're talking about a guy who's very instinctive and really moves very, very decisively on the field, uh, but he's also like really a student of the game. So, you, you know, very productive player at Purdue. Big hands, long arms, four six speed. As I said, he plays faster. One five nine in the ten yard split. So there's some real quickness there. Um, definitely looks the part. You know, this guy's going to be one of the first guys off the bus. He really looks like uh, you know a put together football player. But to me, if you say what defines Jalen Graham or what is he really good at, I just think he 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 processes what he sees quickly and correctly. I don't see him making a lot of mistakes. Um, I see him getting the very best out of his potential. And you could see why, you know, um, why Purdue's coaches loved him, why Ron English loved him. Uh, they, he used him as a nickel linebacker. And the guy started for four years in, in uh, West Lafayette, Indiana. And, you know, in coverage, if you want to go zone, you know, he's very alert. He's very aware in zone coverage. Uh, but I think he's also got the physical ability to play man to man. So um, what I love is that you can see this is a player that expects to make plays. He is driven to make plays on the football field. And I think it was a great seventh round pick for the 49ers. So check out this summer when you're in camp, Jalen Graham, the rookie out of Purdue. Um, the Niners have had a great run of success at picking linebackers. I think they got two good ones in this draft in Winters and Graham. Can't wait to see them this summer. All right, hope you enjoyed our 49er video. Thanks to Pig and a Pickle for being the title sponsor of The Krug Show. Check them out in Emeryville and Corte Madera. And thanks to all of you for supporting The Krug Show on YouTube.